with all that inventory. Wow, a lot of costumes in here. Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into my channel, All Things Accounting. Today, what I'm gonna be talking about is the perpetual inventory system and all its characteristics. So stay tuned and we'll get through this together. inventory system is a continuous record keeping of all the inventory for a particular business. Originally it was used for uh, smaller businesses with uh, little daily transactions but since the advent of technology and its popularity and the accuracy that it can convey in a keeping the accounting records for inventory and cost of goods sold it's become very widely used nowadays. So what happens is that Anytime that an item, for example, let's say this protective gear here, whenever it's sold, then what would happen is that the, the perpetual accounting uh, system for inventory would reduce the inventory by the cost because inventory is always held by, uh, on the books at lower cost and market value. And it would also account for the uh, cost of goods sold as well okay so it's going it's usually a dual entry we'll go through a numerical example of that so as you can see here this is a, some example of inventory for a theatrical company that I know so usually what happens is that because it has future benefit it's inventory and it's owned by the company so whenever there's a sale their perpetual inventory accounting systems will kick in and keep track of all the, all the financial data and keep things accurate. So let's go on inside to the whiteboard and we will run through a numerical example together. So follow me. Okay, so the perpetual inventory system. There are certain benefits to using this particular system as opposed to the periodic, which I've discussed in one of my other tutorials that requires an inventory count uh, close to year end in order to ascertain what the ending balance of uh, inventory would be in order to help you compute what the cost of goods sold would be. So for the perpetual inventory, some of the benefits would be that it's a quick valuation of closing stock because remember this system is automated there's all it's always up to date so anytime you want to know about what the valuation of the cost of goods sold or the inventory it's always there for you <clears throat> secondly it lessens investment in materials So because it is an automated system, storage expenses, storage expense expenses are also reduced. And then another benefit to this is that it detects immediately any type of uh, wastage or shrinkage. So what do we mean by shrinkage? We often refer to that as theft, okay? For example, would, would be in, uh, where it's very useful would be in a technological company that sells cell phones, laptops, tablets, and so forth. You want to be on top of this because they're high-valued items. So shrinkage is a very big issue there. So as we discussed before in the opening, it always keeps a continuous record of uh, the inventory and the cost of uh, cost of goods sold. It's always up to date. So anytime that there's uh, an item is sold, the system accumulates the net cost of purchases in the inventory account, and it transfers the cost of each sale to uh, from inventory to cost of goods sold. So an example of this. Let's run through a, a numerical example here. So let's say. So for example, let's say that we sold an item 
that cost $600 for $1,000. So under the perpetual inventory system, it would be always up to date. So it's a dual, it's a dual journal entry where in this case, let's say that we sold it and we received cash for it. So it would be debit, cash, and because we sold it, we earned that revenue. So let's say it's, it's revenue here. So that would be for the $1,000. Normally, when you do journal entries, you don't include the dollar value there, uh, dollar symbol. So if it was not cash and it was on account, the customer paid on account, it would be accounts receivable instead of cash. So that's the first entry here. Under perpetual inventory system, the second one would then account for the expense and reduce the inventory uh, account by the, uh, the cost of it. Because remember, inventory is, inventory is held at the lower of cost than market. So whatever is lower, the cost of it that you originally purchased it for or the market value, if the market value decrease, that's what you're going to be holding it on the books for, the lower of cost or market. So let's say that uh, this cost is applicable. So you would debit, in this case, because you sold it, it would be cost of goods sold for $600 and you would credit inventory to reduce it by that amount. And then of course, each one, you would have an explanation under, underneath. I'm just omitting them because I'm explaining it right now. Okay. So I hope that this little tutorial helps to clarify and give you an insight of the perpetual inventory system. Uh, if you liked it, please remember to subscribe to my channel hit that like button and hit that bell notification icon so that you're always up to date on the new tutorials that I'll be putting out. So until next time, be safe.